Here, we'll step you through an on-deck installation, which uses lay modules that lay on top of the deck. With an on-deck installation, you will need one lay module per lane. Typically, these are laid underneath or behind a starting block. You will then daisy chain the lane module to the next lane. I will demonstrate this for these four lanes here. Once you have your lanes daisy chained together with lane modules, you will need a deck extension to extend them to the Omnisport. Here we have a 30 foot deck extension. You will connect your lane module to the deck extension and place it behind the starting block or under a starting block. You will then send the deck extension to your Omnisport timer. Here, I'm plugging this into the near end since this is our near end starting blocks. On this style touch pad here, I will adjust the bracket before it's lowered into the pool. With a 7 16 wrench, you can loosen the nut so you can slide this bracket back and forth for different style gutters. I will loosen it first and then install it into the pool. Overseas pads will not have a bracket like this you will just have a bolt that screws directly into the deck Once lowered into the pool, you can see the pool and the touch pad has a cross and you will want to adjust the pad and slide it either left or right to center the touch pad into the lane. And then once you have it centered, you can come here and tighten up your bracket. We can now plug in our touch pad and buttons. You want to make sure you lubricate them with a dielectric silicone before you make the connection. Remembering the ground tab is always going towards the black banana jack. Also lubricate your buttons. Black banana jack towards the ground tab. Next. If the system comes with relay takeoff platforms, they can be stored in this cart, which can hold up to 12 relay takeoff platforms. Let's take this out and mount it on the starting block. The relay takeoff platforms will come with straps that can be tightened underneath the actual starting block top. Once you have things in position, you can pull the strap tight and snug it up. The relay takeout platform will come with a banana jack that will need to be plugged into a button input. It can be plugged into button one, two, or three. Whichever button you plug it into, you will need to set the Omnisport to that specific button you choose.
here, this setup, I have two buttons plugged in, leaving the third button unused. Applying the ground tab to the black terminal, we can plug in our relay takeout platform. If your pool setup requires three backup push buttons, you can piggyback the third backup button on top of the relay takeout platform, applying the ground tab to the black terminal. Here's a closer look of the LED light on the back of the RTOP electronics. Again, you'll want to place your hand on the top and release quickly. You can see the LED light go solid when I release. That is test correctly. You want to repeat this testing setup for each lane you have in your pool. Here at the Omnisport, we can turn this on and enter it into test mode. You can select a timer name, which is Omni 1, since we only have one timer. We can bypass the date by pressing enter and bypass the time by pressing enter since we are only doing a test. Here we can select the sport of swimming. Next you want to press menu, arrow down to number 5, test menu, arrow down to number 2, lay modules. Now we are in test mode. With an assistant, you can press touch pads and buttons for each lane. Here, touchpad will show up, button one, button two, and button three. That lane now is tested.